Look at me. Tarzan vibes, baby. Woo-hoo. Crash! And I've face-planted into a giant spider web. Of course. Because my life is pain. You, you, you. Why is it sticky like expired bubblegum? Get it off, get it off. Ah, it's in my mouth. Wait. That's not just one web. They're everywhere. Above me, behind me. Oh, no. This jungle isn't empty. It's their jungle. Spiders. Eight-legged jump scare machines. In your shoes, in your basement, and renting space in your nightmares. Think you know fear? Wrong. Because today, I'm tossing you into the arena to brawl with five of the deadliest spider assassins on Earth. Hope you packed extra underwear. Number five, Black Widow Spider, North America. Gate creaks open, and oh no, out skitters a glossy black spider, smooth as oil with a glowing red hourglass on its belly like a neon game over sign. Those fangs? Not teeth. Two hypodermic needles preloaded with nightmare juice. This is the Black Widow Spider Latrodectus straight out of North America, the femme fatale assassin of the spider world. It twitches, then leaps. You swing a shovel, miss. It ricochets up the wall, drops from above, and lashes silk around your ankle. You stumble, venomous fangs inches from your skin. According to the Centers for Disease Control, 2021, one bite releases latrotoxin, forcing nerves to fire nonstop, your muscles spasm like barbed wire twisting inside you. National Geographic 2022 reported this venom can be up to 15 times stronger than a rattlesnake's, a spider smaller than your palm, carrying battlefield-grade firepower. You run, crash through trash cans, slam doors, desperate to shake it. But it's faster. It drops straight on your chest, silk whipping, and then... Fangs! The burn hits instantly. Your chest locks, arms jerk like a broken puppet, and you collapse twitching on the floor. I'm screaming with you. We're finished. How can we escape the widow's kiss? Hayes, Zog the Drama King. The truth. The venom's latrotoxin. It forces nerves to dump acetylcholine, causing spasms, sweating, sometimes paralysis. Journal of Biological Chemistry, 2010, described it as hijacking nerve muscle communication. To survive, stay still, apply a pressure bandage, and call emergency services. And no, sucking venom won't help unless you want two problems instead of one. So, no Spider-Man powers? Fine. Pressure bandage, wham! Giant bug net, snap! The widow collected and locked in my spider collection. One assassin down. But next, the ghost crawling under Africa's deserts, and it's hungry. Number four, six-eyed sand spider, Africa. The sun is a white-hot hammer pounding the desert flat. Wind howls, sand whips across your face, and then the ground shifts. A ripple, a tremor. The dune itself cracks open, and crawling out is the six-eyed sand spider, Sicarius Hani, straight from Africa's deserts. It doesn't hunt like other spiders. It vanishes beneath the sand, six pitiless eyes watching, waiting for a victim to take one wrong step. It's not an ambush predator. It's a landmine with legs. You creep forward, sand crunching under your feet, then the ground erupts. It bursts out in a spray of grit, legs slashing, venom dripping. You swing a spear of wood, but it ducks back into the sand, vanishing like a ghost. You run, legs thrashing through deep sand, every step sinking. Behind you, it tunnels, spraying grains into the air like a miniature sandstorm. You stumble, face plant into the dune. It's on you in a blink, sinking fangs deep into your shoulder. According to a study published in the Toxicon Journal, 2008, its venom is cytotoxic, not just attacking your nerves, but melting flesh and destroying blood vessels. One bite and tissue around the wound begins to rot. South African medical reports compare it to necrosis from a chemical burn. You're not just bitten, you're being erased. The burn spreads like wildfire, skin blistering, muscles screaming. Your arm swells, black spots bloom across your flesh. You stagger, collapse, clawing at your own skin as it feels like acid eating you alive. I'm screaming with you. We're doomed in the desert. How can we possibly escape the ghost of the sand? Zog really has a talent for overreacting. But he's not wrong this time. The six-eyed sand spider's venom is cytotoxic, capable of causing severe necrosis. There have been few recorded bites, but lab studies confirm it destroys tissue and blood cells. To survive... Don't provoke it. If bitten, immobilize, hydrate, 
and seek urgent medical care. There's no antivenom, so prevention is your best weapon. So you're saying, if it bites me, my arm basically turns into zombie meat? Okay, 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 bug net deployed. Whoosh! Ghost of the desert captured and sealed in the collection. Two assassins down, but the next one? It's got fangs so brutal they turned Sydney into a horror movie. Number three, Sydney Funnel Web Spider, Australia. Rain slams down, thunder rattles the air, and you find yourself in the suburbs of Sydney at night. The streetlights flicker, and from a storm drain, something crawls out. Thick legs, glossy black armor, fangs glistening like twin daggers. This is the Sydney Funnel Web Spider, Atrax Robustus, one of Australia's deadliest assassins. It doesn't just walk, it charges like a berserker with eight legs. It rears up, fangs snapping, dripping venom. You grab a broom, swing wide, too slow. It darts forward, front legs thrashing, striking again and again like a boxer throwing hooks. You trip, stumble back into the rain-soaked street, and it's already climbing your chest. You sprint into the yard, slipping in the mud. It chases, relentless, claws tapping like knives on concrete. You dive behind a trash bin, thinking you're safe. But it's already there, lunging straight at your throat. Scientists at Macquarie University confirmed its venom, Delta Atracotoxin, can kill in under 15 minutes by overloading the nervous system. Reports from the Australian Museum describe it as so toxic, victims suffer uncontrolled twitching, foaming at the mouth, and in severe cases, respiratory failure. And here's the kicker. This spider doesn't just bite once, it bites again, and again, and again. You scream, smack it with the bin lid, but it clamps onto your arm. Venom floods in, your muscles seize, your lungs burn like you've swallowed fire. You collapse into the puddle, twitching, foaming, rain pelting your face, and I'm yelling beside you, this is it! How can we possibly escape the fangs of Sydney? Of course Zog finds a way to make it sound like a horror movie. The truth is bad enough. Funnel web venom contains delta atracotoxin, which hijacks sodium channels in nerves, causing spasms, sweating, and respiratory collapse. There have been confirmed deaths in under an hour, though antivenom has reduced fatalities since the 1980s. The only survival strategy, pressure bandage, immobilize, and get antivenom treatment immediately. So basically, I get turned into a twitching lawn sprinkler until someone brings the antidote? Fine, pressure bandage, bam, trash bin lid, smack, funnel web locked in my collection. Three assassins down, but next, the pain doesn't stop and it's coming straight out of Asia. Number two, Indian ornamental tarantula, Asia. Moonlight cuts through the trees of a crumbling temple in India. The stone walls tremble, and from the cracks, long striped legs unfurl. The Indian ornamental tarantula, Poesilotheria regalis, emerges. A gothic assassin cloaked in silver and black. It doesn't sneak. It glides, fast, silent, like a shadow with fangs. You step back, torch shaking, then it sprints, blindingly fast, scaling the wall and leaping straight for your face. You duck, swing a stick. It lands behind you, hissing. You run through the ruins, but it's faster, darting like lightning from pillar to pillar. According to a 2014 clinical report from India, its venom causes excruciating pain that lasts for hours, sometimes days. Victims describe muscle cramps so severe they curl into the fetal position. The Journal of Venomous Animals, 2016, documented swelling, nausea, and sweating. But the worst part? The agony doesn't fade. It just keeps building. This isn't a quick kill. It's a sentence. You sprint down the temple stairs, but it's waiting, perched above the doorway. It drops, slamming onto your back, fangs plunging into your shoulder. You scream, tumble down the steps, rolling into the dirt. Pain detonates through your body. It's like red-hot chains tightening around every muscle, locking you in place. You twitch, curl, gasping for air, eyes wide as the tarantula circles again. I'm writhing with you. We're trapped. How do we escape the pain that doesn't end? Of course, Zog would turn it into a drama, but he's not far off. The Indian ornamental tarantula's venom isn't usually fatal, but it causes extreme neurotoxic pain, spasms, and sometimes hospitalization. Doctors recommend immobilization, hydration, and pain management, because there's no antivenom. Your only real option is to endure. So the treatment is basically, suffer? Fine. Giant bug net. Swoosh. Temple slam. 
Wham! Indian Tarantula, captured. Four assassins down. But the final boss? It's hiding in your shoe. And it doesn't forgive mistakes. Number one, Brazilian Wandering Spider, South America. Night falls in the back streets of Brazil. You slip off your shoes after a long day. But inside, something stirs. Eight hairy legs crawl out, eyes glinting red in the dark. The Brazilian Wandering Spider, Phonutria nigraventer, has found you. It's not a hunter that waits. It's an assassin that seeks. This spider roams the jungle floor and even your house, always moving, always hunting. It doesn't build a web. It builds a hit list. You backpedal, chair topples, and it charges like a wolf, front legs raised, fangs dripping. You grab a frying pan, swing wide. It leaps onto the wall, then the table, then straight at your face. You duck. It lands on your shoulder. Fangs snap shut with a click. You fling it off, but it circles, relentless. You bolt through the kitchen, slam the door, but it slips under the crack, chasing you into the hall. You sprint up the stairs, heart hammering. It clings to the banister, launches, and slams into your chest. According to a 2018 review in Toxicon, its venom is a cocktail of potent neurotoxins. Just 0.006 milligrams is enough to kill a mouse. For humans, it causes full body paralysis, respiratory failure, and a uniquely cruel twist. It floods your body with nitric oxide, causing hours of agonizing pain and priapism. Doctors in Brazil call it the most dangerous spider alive. The fangs pierce deep. Venom detonates like fire in your veins. Your lungs seize, every muscle stiffens, and you collapse on the floor, twitching, gasping. Vision swims, body paralyzed. I'm screaming right beside you. We're done. How do we escape the final boss in our shoe? Classic Zog, losing to footwear. But yes, the spider is no joke. The Brazilian wandering spider's venom is neurotoxic, causing paralysis, breathing failure, and severe pain. Brazilian health authorities warn immediate hospital care and anti-venom are critical. To survive, avoid dark corners, always check your shoes, and if bitten, immobilize and get emergency treatment fast. So step one, don't wear shoes. Step two, never sleep again. Fine, bug net deployed, crash. Final boss captured and slammed into the collection. Five assassins down. We made it through the gauntlet, barely. But remember this, next time you see a shoe in the dark, it might be staring back. Yeah. So that was it. Five spider assassins, five near-death experiences. Lesson, don't mess with anything that has eight legs and a bad attitude. And maybe in life, too. Sometimes the scariest battles aren't the ones you fight, but the ones you avoid. If you survived this video, smash like to prove you're a true survivor. Subscribe, or the next one might crawl straight into your bed. And hey, if you like this series, comment the next deadly creature you want to fight. Bye!